In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own Minecraft thumbnail, just like my ASMR videos that I make all the time, which you should actually check out if you haven't already. Be sure to watch to the end to find out all the best tips and tricks that I, a professional, uses. And also, please make sure to like and subscribe so we can get to 1k even faster. Let's get straight into the video. So, for starters, I'm just going to launch up my Badline client. I use 3.0, but it shouldn't actually matter because either 2.0 or 3.0 both support replay mod. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go multiplayer, select Hypixel Network over here, or just Hypixel. Now you have an option. Number one, you could actually go into a game of Bed Wars, for example, here. Just go over, where are we? Here. And click play game or whatever, or whatever map you want, or Sky Wars, I guess, as well, depending on what video you're doing. Or you could do slash, re slash replay and find a game uh, that you've previously done. That's what I'm going to do because it's just faster. So, for example, I want to have a Speedway one here. Now, what you want to do is go into your client settings. So, I'm right shift normally, and I'm just going to type in replay. And it'll come up with replay or replay mode, something like that. Make sure start, stop recording is set to a key bind that you'll remember. In my case, I'm going to do it as P. And yes, yeah, so I'm just going to click P right now. And you can see there's a little recording icon up here. I'm going to move myself right out of the way so I'm not in the camera view. And uh, let's click play. Okay, I think that's enough, so I'm just going to click P again to stop recording. And now I'm going to disconnect from the server. I'm going to go to my replay view over here. And click on the most recent one, which, what the hell, why is this layout right here? Okay, this is the right one here. Load that up. And you can see I've got it right here. I'm stuck in my character, that's me, as you can see. And uh, P plays and pauses the video. You might want to get a shot of you bridging. You might not, I don't know. Let's just play a bit. I want to see what I do when I get onto the land. Make sure I've got a good shot. I can click F1 on my keyboard to remove everything around the screen. So I can get a better view of what it's going to look like. And I think... Quite close makes it look better. Uh, the more of a screen your character takes up, the better, because then it, you don't have to fill the screen with anything else. I want to get a good angle of bridging like this, right here. So now I'm just going to go and cut my. I'm just going to click F2 on my keyboard once I'm happy with how it looks. So I've just clicked it. I'm going to wait a second just in case you have a slow computer or anything. And nothing will change visually on the screen, no matter what you do. But I'm just going to close or exit the replay and then quit the game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you're going to do, open up your Google or your, your browser. And in your browser, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go and open up photop.com. I'll put a link to it in the description, but it's also on the screen right now. Photop.com. Now, you'll see it'll load up. Uh, you'll probably get a little checkbox that starts saying, Do you add our cookies and things? Just obviously say yes to those sort of things. And then maybe also be like a big advert or something at the top. Uh, but you just need to get rid of both of them, and uh, then you'll be greeted with this page here. Uh, on your keyboard, hold the Windows key and then click R. Now type in percent app data percent and then backslash dot Minecraft. Enter and then here find the screenshots folder. Then find your screenshot you just took, which will be in here. As you can see, I've got mine right here. Take the image, drag it into my Google right here. And you'll see it says loading. And there we go, we have our image. So I'm going to con hold Control Alt and then zoom. Zoom in out. As you can see, Control Alt basically lets you do any uh, functions that would normally just use command. But yeah, so I've got my Control Alt here, and I'm just using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So I'm just going to go over here and right click on the lasso and select Polygonal Lasso Select. I'm going to go and select around my character now. So select there. And you just need to click and select another point. Click. As you can see, I'm just outlining the entire the entirety of my character right now. No shadows or background or anything. Just my character and what they are holding. If that sticks out of the frame or something like that. So to get this little highlight box around, you just need to select your last point on top of the first ever point. So you have your first point here, get your last point and go dink, and then it will do this little checkbox around here. If it doesn't, then just try and get it more accurate and click it in there. Uh, just try a few times, just keep on clicking in the same area and try and click on it. And if you need to get more precise with things, you can just zoom in. But try and get as little background as you can in the background, but it doesn't really matter if you select some of that. So now I've done that, I'm going to do Control and C, not Control Alt, Control and C, then Control and V. And you'll see it'll paste this little layer one thing on the right here. And then if I click V on my keyboard or click this little button up here, you can see it selects my character for me. I can move him around. He's still there, but I can just move around, okay? And by the way, you can do Control Z to undo and Control Shift Z to redo. Now there's new, as you can see, there's a little layer one over here. On the right hand side of the text, I'm just going to double click right about here. And you'll see it'll open up this little pane here my layer style. So if I just move this right so I can actually see my character, I'm just going to select the outer glow here. 
Select the blend mode to to normal, and then select the color to be a nice white right there. Change the opacity to full and the spread to full, and then bring the size up to around about 24, which is what mine is, but it depends on the size of your character on the screen. I think I might actually make mine a little bit bigger, just so it's like that. I know it's kind of weird right now, but it'll look better in a second, I, I, I promise you. So now select stroke up here, and then once you've taken it off, you actually have to click on it as well. And now I'm just going to select the color and change it to black. Change the size to a little bit bigger. In fact, I just changed my mind. I think I'm going to switch the colors around right now. So to change the stroke to white and the outer glow to black. That looks a lot better now. I'm going to change the size of both of them to be a little bit smaller, about there. And there we have it. So now you can see this is my character. He's nice and outlined. It looks pretty cool. But that's not it. So for now, ladies and gentlemen, you want to go and search up either your keyboard name or another keyboard that you just randomly like. It looks quite nice. I prefer to have a transparent background. It'd be a lot easier in the future for us then. Especially with a white keyboard. If not, I can still select it, copy that, can do Control V again to paste it in, select V on your keyboard to use your selection tool. And I'm just going to go and click W on my keyboard, W or select this, and then that will select my wand and then select the background and click Delete on your keyboard and then Control Alt D to deselect. Now, see, so it might be a little bit rough like mine here, just hold down with this selection tool over here, just drag around here and delete that there, just so there's no horrible white outlines or anything like that on my keyboard right here. So now we've got this, I've removed my background things, I'm just going to tilt mine slightly like this and also hold the layer 2 or whichever layer it is with the keyboard on and drag that below layer 1. You see here, or your character. And I'm just going to just go and select the edge and hold shift on my keyboard, rotate them a little bit right there. Right, okay. So here I've got quite a nice angle except there's a problem. It goes behind my character like this side here and I don't like that okay this edge here going out from the right I don't like but I don't want to move the keyboard away to the left because it'll just look kind of weird so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna move the character and now you might not have your character in a specific position uh, and it might not need to be so precise for you guys but uh, I'm very picky about this sort of thing see I want to have my character over here okay so now you can see in the background we've also got my old character so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select B on my keyboard for the brush tool hold alt and then click on the color of the background it's going to make the size a little bit bigger. I'm just going to try and make it look like the background right there. So now I've got the wool done there. I just zoomed in a little bit and then changed the brush size to be a little bit smaller. And I'm zooming out again. So yeah, I'm just going to go and select this time with the selection tool. Select a bit of the background. Do Control C and then Control V. Then get my selection tool or whatever it's whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to move this around so it looks all right with the backgrounds. Looking quite good, so it's looking a little bit repetitive. So what I'm going to do is it's kind of like a little smart thing. I'm just going to go and uh, get my brush tool right here, make the size a little bigger. Change the right clicking, change the hardness to 0%. And get this sort of colour here and just make it all blend in, kind of. And there we go, I've just filled it all in with a brush. It doesn't look perfect, but it looks great to be honest. It's not, uh, it's not terrible. So now I'm just going to go and fill in this cloud over here. There we go, and I've just cleaned it up up there, and now we're essentially done, yeah, with that character right there. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to move my keyboard around, and it might make my character show. But first of all, I'm just going to make sure all these layers aren't all over the place, so I'm just going to merge them down. So I'm just going to merge that, and there we go, and now I'm just going to select my keyboard. You might want to rename it as well, keyboard. And now it might expose a bit more on my player, it might not, I don't know. I'm just going to change the size of mine to be a little bit bigger, and there we go. I've just cut that bit there, enter. I'm just going also going to cut this part of my keyboard here just out right there. Okay, Control Alt and D to uh, get rid of the selection, and you can see this is looking pretty cool already, right? Now it doesn't look perfect, obviously, but now I'm just going to get a mouse. I got a good one right here actually, so I'm just going to right-click, copy that image, go back over to my Photo P and do Control V, click on V to get my selection tool. I'm just going to move this around so it's in the right place where I like it. There we go, about there should be just about all right, really. Maybe a little bit higher right there. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to double click on the right hand side of my mouse, like last time with my character, outer glow. There we go, it looks a lot better and cleaner. So now I'm going to select the outer glow, I'm going to change the color to make sure it is black. And now put the spread over here to zero. See that right there? Change the size to be a little bigger, like 66 ish. And that should do, that's literally it for the mouse. And I'm going to do literally the same thing for the keyboard. It should already be saved, so yeah, there we go. If not, just do the same thing. So the next part is this little icon here you see here in the bottom right. We're just going to click that and it's going to select a new layer right there. And now we want to drag this right up to the top if it isn't already. And on this layer, I'm just going to get my selection tool over here. Just go over to here and just do a little outline right there. Now I'm going to do select the, sele the select button and then select inverse. 
Now you'll see it'll select this little area square around the outside right here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once I select it, I'm going to select this little button right here and click on curves up here. Now I can drag this little thing along and plot different parts on here to make the background a little bit, that area around there, a little bit brighter. Now I'm also going to do an outer glow right here. As you can see, it's done this little thing here. Uh, I'd personally call that an inner glow, but okay. I'm just going to change the size to be a little bit smaller right there. And it's just like a little frame for us right there okay now you're thinking oh gross this keyboard sticking out and this bottom of the mouse is sticking out that's all right we can just move them inwards so let's move it upwards slightly and then we'll move the keyboards downwards very slightly right there click enter or whatever you want and then there we go ladies and gentlemen we have our thumbnail it looks great in my opinion and i'm just going to save this by file save as psd if you want to use it again in the future which is a photoshop document there we go and i've saved that and i can select export as and then png save that and now it'll come down here and there we go, that was your little tutorial on how to make your very own Minecraft uh, keyboard and mouse sounds ASMR video thumbnail. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, make sure to check out my affiliate link in the description for Venatos. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join my Discord as well. Uh, we literally recently hit 200 members, which is absolutely insane. Uh, let's make it 300 soon. And also let's make it 1,000 subscribers soon as well, because that'd be amazing, right? And I'll see you in the next video.